If you have been looking for a compact, bi-colour LED panel light that's cheap but not a load of rubbish, then this video is just for you. The Loom Cube Mini Panel. Welcome to the saturated marketplace of LED travel lights. Compact LED lights are a favorite accessory of mine. There is always more need for lights, right? And the Loom Cube Panel Mini is the name of this light. It's not the mini panel, which I appreciate would roll off the tongue better. So before you get on my case, down in the comments, that's the name get over it. Maybe you just need to drop some light into the background of a shot, or it's a main light that you need to attach to your cell phone tripod, or just something reliable to mount on top of your DSLR. Whatever the light situation need that you're looking for, the battery life on this is good enough. Having played with lighting from the super cheap to the super expensive, and mostly on this channel, I wanted to see what the solid brand Loom Cube could offer for $69. And full disclosure, I loved the original Cube light and lusted after that when it came out, so I am a bit of a fanboy. First up and straight out of the box, you get the light itself. Found wearing its snug silicone white diffuser, you become immediately aware of the quality of the materials in hand. The diffuser does add a third more thickness to the size of the light. Once removed, you see that it's a matte frosted finish lens and it's bicolors, which are tucked in nicely behind. Flip to the reverse of the panel and you can see the size of that built-in 1200 milliamp hour battery. It's a good size battery for any time that you're out filming. There's also a USB-C port for five volt fast charge. As for mounting options, well, there are two quarter inch thread points for cold shoe attachments. So you can mount both portrait and landscape. In the box, you also get an instruction manual, a cold shoe mount, and USB-C to USB-A charge cable. So with the first looks out of the way, let's check out the good bits of the Loom Cube Panel Mini. So I already said I loved the original rugged waterproof cube light. So the excitement to get to play with this light was obviously very high, and if you buy these lights on Amazon as I did, you can have them available with next day prime delivery. Charging the light internal battery takes just under two hours from empty. The light's most desirable feature is that it can perfectly produce 3,200 Kelvins through to 5,600, and that adjustment is made in 100 Kelvin increments. There's no flickering with video. Those 60 LEDs are fully adjustable from 100% right down to 1%, and those increments are made in 5% steps. The device is 85 grams, and it's barely bigger than a credit card, and that makes it convenient, well, for you to carry. Finally, I think the greatest feature is the battery remaining feedback. And that's shown on that rear display screen. Although it's more ish than exact, it's pretty accurate. However, Loom Cube did say that it lasts for one hour and 14 minutes on a full charge. Now, obviously we had to test that, and we found that on full brightness, after around 20 charge cycles of use, we got one hour and 15 minutes before exhausting the battery. Ish. The good news here isn't the extra minute, it's the fact that the light didn't dim, it didn't fall in any way before switching off. But what should you look out for, and is it really worth it? Now the light does come with one year warranty from proof of purchase. However, a quick look at the instruction manual and it becomes clear that 
pretty much most circumstances of it failing to work won't be covered under warranty. Pretty much everything could be a user error. And it seems that there are many warnings for user errors and that will see you not getting your replacement should the light fail. That is about it. I can't really fault anything about the product itself. So what are my final thoughts? The panel mini from Loom Cube is so close to being a very, very perfect light. If they introduce colored gels, well, that would be incredible for making backgrounds interesting. And I love that this is compact, pocket friendly. It kicks out a huge amount of lumens and has warm light from that 3200 up to 5, 6000 Kelvins and USB-C fast charge. Well, that's a couple of hours for full charge, but you can attach a battery bank and it allows bypass mode to illuminate while taking a charge. With all that said, it is possibly the best build quality, credit card sized LED panel that I have seen for $69. To get this light closer to perfection, I'd have to pay maybe around $100, and that should see a water resistant casing and option for smaller increments in those Kelvin adjustments and brightness adjustments. So I guess that leaves, should you buy this? I think you wouldn't be disappointed. You get a very capable setup. They're going to be the ideal solution for photographers who shoot on the occasional bit of B-roll and especially great for lighting those macro shots. But let's face it, this is for mobile creators and providing you can keep it dry, it could be a great light for the money. So that's about it for this one. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you want to read more, you can check out our blog and if you prefer to listen, then get the latest camera news from our podcast. And there's some links below should you want to check those out. Now remember, thumbs show love, so be careful where you put them. That's all for this one. See you in the comments. Bye. AJ. Yeah. The Loom Cube 2.0. Can you get that one for us? Because uh, I've spent my money on this. You got no money left. This month's budget. Oh, sorry, I've got to go find uh, other people that are more rich than you. I, I want. I want to try the 2.0. Only when you've got more money.